Thanks for joining us. An Opelousas native is promising a three and a half billion dollar investment in her hometown. That announcement coming from A Heart Solutions International. According to their website, the company is a mix of more than 50 individual companies specializing in health care, energy, construction and security. And leading that company is its president is Haley A Heart Kiefer. The airport in Opelousas is named after her father. And on the 36th anniversary of his death, she says now is the perfect time to make a big move. She says she's been in talks with the city since 2015. Justice Henderson joins us live in studio with more on the investment and also questions related to those projects. Justice. The event Thursday was called at the last minute, we're told, and promised to bring major money to St. Landry Parish. Among the business owners, owners' plans for the city expanding the airport, upgrading the technology in the city, making it a smart city with a smart gel, the first, she says, in Louisiana. She also wants to re relocate some of her company's headquarters to Opelousas, making jobs available to residents here. What she, wasn't, what, what she wants in return, return, contracts from the city to do the work needed in her plans. Because if we do not create a sustainable community within Opelousas and St. Landry Parish, then there's never going to be any hope that my father's legacy with the airport can live. Because if you can't create an economy that can sustain, the airport's going to close down and we're just not prepared to let his legacy die. What's unclear is what needs to be done with the individual, individual government entities to secure permission to do the projects. The mayor coordinated the event, but three of the six council members say they weren't invited. Also not given the heads up, the St. Landry Economic Development Director or anyone from the government's office. When we asked them, the government's office told us that they were told of a potential project in Opelousas three years ago, but haven't heard anything since then. We've tried to ask the mayor why, but our calls were not returned. As for the projects, the first one and the biggest will be the airport. Since it's a parish property, parish president Bill Fontenot would have to play a part in the planning. He says he hasn't seen a sp specific proposal yet, but is hopeful the much needed improvements will come to reality. As I can see where yesterday's tour creates a lot of excitement and a lot of expectation that may or may not happen. So it's good that we temper that with, uh, with these follow-up interviews and notifications to the public that nothing is written in stone yet at all, only that this company was so proud of what they were bringing or that they have made us understand that they could bring and would bring. The business owner says she has letters of intent from government entities across the state and will be signing contracts within the next two weeks. She says the city should start seeing real progress being made by the first quarter of 2019. In the studio, Justice Henderson, KTC, TV3. Checking headlines Paris by Paris. We start